My dudorinos, it is time to talk. I would not call a winner for the Iowa caucus. I think that any moderate Dem candidate is a more reasonable candidate. What is the business model for them exactly? I can't really talk publicly about that. Tell him, tell him you're not a slave. Just say, I'm not a slave. Say it. Say it right now, Milton. All right. Well, <clears throat> did uh, Mike from PA lose his money yet? Dude, I love music theory. Holy shit, it's so fucking interesting. First of all, unless the Iowans have said specifically, I would not call a winner for the Iowa caucus. It is possible that Bernie, or maybe even Biden at this point, or maybe even Warren? Is that 246,000 for Warren? I can't tell because of the way that they tabulate, the, the way that they wrote this. Um, it's possible that anybody else could have won, you know? It's hard to say. Um, I don't know why they released so few candidates. Or, I'm sorry, I, I don't know why they released with so few precincts reporting. But um, isn't it normal for not all precincts to be reported at the same time? Stop. Nothing is normal right now, okay? These should have been, these should have been reported yesterday, okay? So we have, there are so many, there are so many, I am embarrassed. And it actually, there have been so many things that have discouraged me from like politics over the past, um, um, o over the past like year, over the past year, I would say, when dealing with the left, I'm embarrassed at the state of politics on this platform right now. Like, I'm sorry, but. That's it. We do not have a democracy. We do not have a democratic process. You don't get to say that after saying this. Do I prefer a Cox or a regular primary? I personally think a regular primary is better if we're keeping it honest, if we're keeping it real. But caucuses do favor Bernie Sanders, so I'm pro caucus all the way, baby. I'm, I'm Michael Dukakis. You have no real opinion on politics. Like, go do React content or go play video games. Like, why the fuck are, why do, why do so many people have this opinion? Like, it's actually disgusting. Like, this is, like, as bad or worse than the alt-right shit that I dealt with. Like, literally. No, that's not hyperbole. Like, it's actually fucking disgusting. Like, you have no real opinion on politics, right? You're just here to simp for Bernie. Like, at the very least, like, if you're gonna go this fucking hard, get paid by the fucking campaign. Like, you can actually get paid to go out on canvas and knock on doors and shit. Like, if you're just gonna be a partisan shill hack, like a spineless fuck, right? Like, you can find, you can at least get a paycheck for it. Like, jeez, like, at least get fucking paid for it. Um... How fucking pathetic. Like, the funny thing is that no matter what happened, like, there are seven different narratives for no matter how this could have played out. If Bernie would have won, here's an interesting thing. I'm not gonna go find these clips, but go and find, go and find all the clips of people like, oh no, well, if Bernie won, if Bernie won, now all of a sudden, all the wind is gonna be taken out of his sails because there's, because of the, the faulty reporting. Are these same people gonna come out and say like, man, all the wind got taken out of Pete's sails for his win. If it turns out that he won, guarantee you that's not gonna happen. Guarantee you that's not gonna happen. If, if, if Bernie would have won, then it would have been, wow, bullshit, he got fucked, you know, they took the window of sales. If Bernie loses, wow, they just needed time to rig the vote totals. This is just, this is JQ shit. No matter what you do, there's always a reason why your guy's getting fucked. There's always a reason why the conspiracy is against you. There's always a reason why everybody's rigging against you. No matter what happens, right, it's always going to come out to favor you because that's how the fucking conspiracy mind brain fucking works, is that every little thing can be twisted and turned and curved and that side is against you and this side and there, the shadow company is, uh, never mind the fact that two other candidates also donated. Well, never mind the fact that you know these people make apps for the DNC. Never mind that we, no, no, it's all the conspiracy. It's the CIA, the fucking everybody. Like it's unbelievable. If Pete Buttigieg actually wins after 100% of the world's report and credit to him, but this is a way bigger mess if Bernie Sanders wins at the end. But Iowa Democratic Party let Buttigieg take two victory laps. Sure, that's a fair. That's a fair take. I don't know why Iowa released any information without having just 100% of the precincts done, especially if it changes the winner. Could you explain the shadow conspiracy briefly and why it's known to believe? So. There's a company called Shadow, I think, that makes apps for, like, some of the Democratic, like, organizations or whatever. I think Tulsi Gabbard has paid money for their services. Biden's campaign has paid money for their services. And I think Pete's campaign has paid money for their services. So people are trying to say, people are trying to wrap this up in Pete's campaign paid Shadow to create the app to destroy the caucus for Bernie Sanders. That's, like, the current unironic spinning, like, useful, like, the, the actual leading narrative that people are spinning. Like, it's unbelievable. It's just incompetence. Let me tell you something, okay? If the numbers that they release are not reflective of the DMR poll, 
They're not reflective of uh, the, the other polls that are leading up to the Iowa caucuses. If the numbers that they release are not reflective of the internal numbers that Bernie Sanders is releasing and the DMR poll, I will not believe them. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, what a sad fucking day. Now, again, it is possible. It is possible that um, that Bernie could have won. We actually still don't know. I think it's even possible that Warren could have won. We still don't know. For some reason, they only released like with sixty percent reporting. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't. I really. I can't think of like a reason why they would do that. Um, but it's possible that P that Bernie actually did win. In which case, I'm sure we'll see these guys walk back all their extremist uh, dialogue. Um, now that Destiny likes Pete, I like him too. I never said I like Pete. Is that guy memeing? Wait, IP ban that guy from chat. It's a fucking moron. I've never said that I like Pete. Uh, I think he sounds kind of smart, but I don't know. I, I, actually, wait. Um, I think I've said multiple times that I wouldn't trust Pete because he's got a very limited record and he's already kind of had like, he's already like dealt with some things like in a pretty bad fashion, actually. Thought you said he was probably one of the reasonable candidates. I think that any moderate Dem candidate is a more reasonable candidate. So I would say the same thing about Pete, that I would about um, Biden, that I would about even like Kamala Harris or fucking Delaney or fucking Booker, like any of the more moderate Dems, I'm going to say, uh, or Amy Klobuchar or whatever. Hanging in there. Listen, I have questions about this streamer house, dude. I'm very interested in how it can yeah. work. Who, come over yeah. here? <clears throat> well, no. Um, so what is the business model for them exactly? I can't really talk publicly about that, Dan. I'm sorry. Okay, listen. I'm gonna assume. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna assume they're after some sort of revenue share. Okay, that might be an assumption you could make. Sure. So if we say it's a twenty million dollar house, okay, you have to look at that twenty million dollars that could be in the market. Okay, that's. I don't know if they least... bought. I don't think they bought the house. They're oh, probably that's renting even, it. That's even worse. That's even worse. Okay, they could be renting it. Sure. Uh, but that's a million a year got to be a million a year okay. okay are you going to be the biggest streamer in this house i'm not sure yet do you think it's possible they're going to make a million dollars off this a year <clears throat> let me take that back do you Ouch. think it's possible to make two hundred thousand a year um two hundred thousand yeah for sure um i mean i'm not sure i don't know hmm. i guess it would depend on what their plans are, how they want to make money on the house, huh? A house is a is capital, though, in more ways than just hosting streamers, right? You could theoretically have events there that you generate revenue with somehow. You could do sponsor things there. Um, you could host other people in the house that might be willing to pay a fee, possibly. Um, I mean, there are other things you could do with an asset like that, potentially, depending on the type of infrastructure you have in play, right? Just seems like a bad use of money. I, maybe I don't get it. That's fine. Um, like, it's just... Wouldn't this work in like a $3 million house? Um, yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't it? Some people are either go big or go home, Dan. Sounds like you just need to go home. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Jeez. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's because I'm playing League. It brings out the worst in me. Will I be able to say the business model when I'm in the house? Uh... I don't know. Can you get Darius IRL there? Um, almost for sure, no. Listen, we don't do that weeb shit. I need somebody that can hang out with people, get along with everybody. We don't need this Naruto running around the house, okay? Fucking up my vibes. <laughs> what, about, what about if he would change his ways? I, it's not supposed to be a Destiny and Friends house. Like, what do you think about setting the bar so high in negotiations to dictate the yeah, tone yeah, of future? There are other people as well that do. Negotiations. Yeah? This is Bernie's but plan with single-payer medicare. What good is nepotism medicare if you don't get to use it yourself sometimes? First of all, if I wanted to be nepotistic, it would be towards like very close friends that I have that I was trying to enrich, <laughs> like not not Darius IRL and chat. Tell Dan that it starts with a B. Looking for up-and-coming streamers, okay? Has Darius proven himself yet? What's his he, what's the concurrent viewer he's at? That's it, listen, hmm. he's undiscovered, okay? It's like a, he's a rookie, okay? Yeah. You just I've seen his talent. Wow. You know what, Dan? This sounds like a great investment that you could make into his. I thought about it, but I don't know if the ah, if I wasn't good enough for Dan, there. but it's supposed to be good enough for me. Well, it sounds like they I mean listen, they got fucking shekels to throw out there, dude. I'm I'm, I'm all what exactly. He's an uncut gem. Exactly. You can polish him. him. Better get to polishing Darish. Darius, Dan. Oh yeah, I already did nepotism because I might invite Mr. Mooton, so there you go. That's my 
That's my nepotism quota. It's a shame he can't go. Wait, why can't he go? He's chained here. You think I'm gonna let him leave? He just came here. Oh, Dan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but listen, you'll make new friends. You have Tabor down there, right? He's too busy for me. Really? Listen, I'm saving Mr. Mooten from you. You're hurting his content. All you do is well, you just you that's, bring that's him over. Why. I know the real reason why. You're upset because you don't get to play League with him every once in a while. That's selfish, okay? He has become a real fucking streamer since he's down here. He has put his life on track. He's making $300,000 a year. He's got cotton left and right, new friends. And look at where all of his vacations are going, towards hanging out with you, doing nothing in the house. Not, not even with me. We Wasting got his here, time. Salsa, rotting away legend. on your couch as a slave. You That's just want, all you want is a vape transporter. That's what Mr. Mooten is <laughs> to you. Off, Someone to bring vapes to you because your wife won't let you anymore. It's okay, disgusting. Listen, babe, if you're listening, I don't know what they're talking about. That's that's how it was, not anymore. Lucas, come here. Um, tell, tell Destiny. Wait, he's there now? <laughs> <laughs> tell, him, tell him you're not a slave. Just say, I'm not a slave. Say it. Say it right now, Mooten. Say it. <laughs> he really wants you to say he said he wouldn't say it. Right. What is he there right now for, Dan? Well, he's, um... What do you... What do you we had a barbecue here. All the boys were here. What's the problem? You we had a barbecue. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How selfish, Wait, was, selfish the test, you are. Was, was the test that I have to say I'm not a slave to show, like, that, that slave-like behavior that I would say on Dan's command? Because I'm not going to say it, if that's what it was. Yeah. He's a bad person. He's not good for you. I'm right for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't love you like I love you, okay? You were just a league participant for him. You're so much more than that to me, Lucas, okay? Yeah, I'm Some... a... What is it? A no. nicotine Stop! Star. That's not true! That doesn't happen anymore. As he smokes his vape, the hyper supply. Well, that... I know. I bought this one myself. <laughs> Where do you keep it? Uh, that's not the point. Oh god, it's my wife. What are you doing? Are you doing? Hey, sweetheart, how's it going? You're I, I'm, um, I'm, I'm with. Uh, yeah, I'll be over in a little bit. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the office. Yeah. <clears throat> Christ. Uh, yeah, in a little bit. Hold on, let me call you back. All right. Bye. You almost fucking blew up my spot, both of you guys, all right? I don't need you saying I'm fucking nicked up when I'm here. She's going to think I'm, like, doing heroin or something. I said heroin, you say? I said you're mic'd up. Oh. <clears throat> I was trying to give, like, context of what's going on here, all right? Jeez, chill. Oh, that, that one's, I'm pretty sure that one's, that, that one's empty, Mr. Moon. I went through that fucking an hour ago. Are you serious, bro? They're in the trash can. Okay? Yeah, yeah not, not this trash can. That can't be here. Are you serious? That shit gets seen? I'm fucked. <laughs> Hey, here, every day here is like a sitcom with Dan. Exactly. All right, well, <clears throat> did uh, Mike from PA lose his money yet? <clears throat> <laughs> I think you will. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Point me, that's the only silver lining in all of this. Bernie could still win, though. Like, all the all the uh, precincts aren't reporting. They only publish 60%. Unless, for some reason, they really do think these are representative. True. But poor Mike. Poor Mike indeed. He didn't have that money to lose to spare. He <laughs> That's what he said. He explicitly said it that he didn't. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. People are saying that he sold he sold his shares right before the cutoff. He cashed out. What a wow! No confidence, Mike. I'm still holding my anti Bernie shares. Not I shouldn't say anti Bernie shares, but for Bernie not well, winning the Mine are pretty fucking anti Bernie. I got eight fifty on him losing and eight fifty on status quo Joe winning. It's still gonna happen. <laughs> For Iowa or for? Did you bet on Iowa? Did you bet on <gasps> nah, I, didn't I do really, it. honestly think that I really want to try playing this game. I want to take like two thousand dollars next time. I want to try betting on the markets as the uh, precincts are reporting because things seem to swing in really dumb ways. Like, for instance, like as soon as like a positive precinct is reporting for somebody that has no chance of winning, like the polls actually are the betting markets actually reflect it a lot. Like, there are times when, like, Amy is going, like, up and down and shit, and it's like, this is so stupid. Like, if you were buying and selling, like, as precincts are being reported, I think you could actually make money doing that. The, the problem is that that site predicted is fucked how many fees... For transaction fees? Like, yeah, I wonder that, yeah. Like, there was a time that Hillary was higher than Biden, and obviously that's not going to fucking happen, but, like, you can't do anything with it. That's the problem. 
sure. That wasn't that wasn't too long ago. Like Hillary, I think is still on predict it right now. And why is Bloomberg a fuck above Biden? How does that make sense? Well, people are saying that Bloomberg's strategy is to ignore um, the first four primaries and that he's banking hard on Super Tuesday and that he wants like a blowout like stomp on Super Tuesday and that he's going to try to carry forward from there. Like right now, hold on, I'm looking at this. Yeah, so he's above Biden and Pete's below both of them. Um, but, but did you know there's another thing? You know that they have a maximum amount of people who can participate in any uh, contract at one time? I didn't know that, actually. But if, oh, you, no, read, if you read the, um, the, the thing, from, I think it's a CETA or whatever that gave them authorization to do this, you can see that um, there's only like a thousand people that can bet on anything, right? So like this site's not as big as you think it is. There's not millions of people that Wait, are- I never thought yeah. there were millions of people. Well, I mean, it's it's not even that much. Like at any time, the most that you can have here is 850k. This isn't like, oh, well, the market says this. It's like, okay, I mean. Oh yeah, no, I'm was... I'm always trying to imply that there is like some like massive like international like market for this betting shit. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's way smaller than that. The international ones, I know that the, like what Betfair or something, those might have more liquidity. But yeah, predict it. <clears throat> I don't think it really is very predictive of anything at all. Obviously, sure. Um, but... Fuck, dude, I want to go in on Biden now, but I can't because I'm already maxed out. He's down fucking 18 cents, dude. Five to one odds. Does anybody know about this shit? This is so cool. Dude, I love music theory. Holy shit, it's so fucking interesting. This, um, this, this relationship between, between, um, pentatonics. Somebody linked me this video a while ago. But how you can, like, stack, um... Fuck, I don't know my pentatonics at all. Um, wait. Fuck, I, I would have to th I have to apply my brain more because I don't usually play pentatonics. But the way that you can like merge all of these together into these like really extended scales is super interesting. The seventh step sound. And then it and then the Oh, this is so interesting. I was messing around with this a couple nights ago. This is one of the coolest theory videos I've ever seen for like constructing like melodies, like using like this kind of like modal mixture. I don't know what you would call it, but sorry. Okay. Pentatonics are, is it one, which, which scale degrees is our pentatonic thought of? I know that one, three, five, and seven are there. Is it one, three, four, five, seven? Modal interchange. That's another word I've heard for it. Yeah. Modal interchange or modal mixture. No seven or four. Wait, you don't have sevens in a in minor pentatonics? Oh, you might not. No, no, no. You're right. I don't think you do. Or maybe. Oh fuck, I don't remember. Oh, you just said no four or no seven. So that means one, two, three, five, six. Dude, this. Why does she have a driver's license? This dumb fuck is literally just fucking whatevering.